G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev and I'm back. Welcome to my channel. I'm back at Rocky Creek and there's, there's a bit of water here, there's a couple of puddles um, but a lot of it has dried up. Yeah, so I'm probably fortunate I got back here in time while there's still some water here so I can do a few test pans. I'm, I'm going to test pan in the creek, the actual creek where it runs through up above the um, granite bedrock with the boiler hole uh, that I found that gold in. Well, the gold either was in the bucket uh, when I came out here, or the gold was in that boil hole. So I've just come back to pick it up. I'll just get back here to the first pan. Okay, there's the boil, boil hole. That I got that sample out of last time, and I, I got those few specks of gold in the pan. I'll just give us a look around here. There's the boiler hole. There's all the bedrock. There's a bit of water there. Not much. All the grass is really overgrown in this creek now. But um, as summer comes along, all this grass will just die off. Or the cattle will come in and eat it. And then up here, I've taken a sample just up here. So up above the bedrock where the boil hole is, I've taken a sample here. Sort of in the in the guts of the creek. And just up there, my pan's up there because I've got a, a nice water hole just up there where my pan is. Okay, now this is the, the material that I, I just dug out of, that, out of that hole in the creek, sort of in the centre. And I've got a nice puddle of water here that I can, that I can pan it out in. All I'm doing today guys, I'm just trying to find some more specks of gold in my pan. If I find one or two specks, that means that that gold that was uh, in my pan from when I was here before, that means that that gold wasn't in the bucket all the time, it came from this creek. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to prove up this creek. So if I do a few pans here, digging around, I don't get any gold, well, I know it was I know that gold was in the pan, it was, sorry, was in the bucket all the time, but uh, I don't believe it was. I always wash my buckets out. So, anyway, we'll soon find out. Okay, I'll get up there with this and I'll just show you the first, first pan. Oh, I've got to climb up this. Where you're perched, you're on the, you're up on the grass, and I've got to, uh, I can't see what I'm doing here. I had the perches up on the granite outcrop just above where I was. Anyway, we'll pan this back. It's still early morning, guys. The sun hasn't really come out yet. Either. A bit of black sand there, but no sign of gold. It's not looking good. Nothing, no gold. Okay, I'll dig down again. I'll dig down a bit deeper in that spot. I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I didn't get anything out of that last pan, but there's that boil hole just there, and I'm up above it. The granite bedrock goes up, and then right here where my shovel is, that rock there I pulled out the way. The rock was sitting just in there. I pulled it out. I'm going to shovel all that material out of there and pan it and if I don't get any gold out of that then I don't think there's any in this creek. Anyway, I'll get back to you when, when I'm panning it guys. Well guys, I've done about five pans in this area and nothing, not even a single speck, even under my jeweler's loop looking, looking at the black sand in the pan, nothing, not a single, 
not even a micro spec. So I'm going to give up on this spot. I'm marking this spot off the, off the list. Uh, now I'm sure that that gold was in the bucket prior to me coming out here on that day. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a heartbreak, but that's how it goes. You've just got to make sure your gear's clean before you take samples, because this is what can happen. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm um, I'm going to go and look at another spot where I found some crystals, and I'll see if I can find some crystals. Okay. While I was driving around, I um I come across this digging. Another old time was digging, but uh, there's a big piece of quartz there. Just looking around, I can't see what they were looking for, but um, I'll have a look. This is their their waste dump that I'm standing on now, the material that they dug out, and on the other side, you've got all the bigger rocks over there. But um, I'm not seeing what they were what they were looking for. There must have been a quartz vein in here. Anyway, I'll have a look around. If I see anything interesting, I'll take some samples. So just over there where that dead tree is lying down on the ground, that's where that stope is that I just found. Um, yeah, that that digging from the old boys. And oh, only about another. 10 meters away another one another little um, costume where they've dug in here but I had a look around at the other one I, I can't really see what they're looking for I, I was finding rusty stone rock like that I cracked it open looked looked under the jewelers loop but I couldn't see anything so I don't know, maybe they found some mineralisation in the rock so they um, they dug down to see if it got richer obviously it didn't ok guys, I'll get back to you when I found this, find this area that I'm looking for ok, I found another costine, another working I'd never been to this one before, never seen this one so those other two shallow costines that I just looked at um, they were to the north of me and this one here is, they've obviously done a lot more work there's a big mound of waste, the big waste pile and out the back here where they would have been I don't know, I suppose barrow, wheelbarrowing the material out there's a big piece of, big piece of quartz just there and some more quartz so I'll have a look around here, I'll definitely take some samples even if I take some samples off the off the waste dump here you can see the rich red iron stained dirt in the bank and then I'll oh, better be careful down there, there's no bloody snakes yeah then in the bank here you can see all those quartz veins all those quartz veins running straight up and down and then there's it looks like a bigger a bigger vein there anyway I'll um I'll be back I'll take some samples from here cool okay here's that digging that I've just found and if you look down in, in, in the, into the hole there down there you can see the quartz vein that's the quartz vein that they were following And straight across the hole, here's the quartz here. There's the quartz vein. Now this quartz vein has a strike of north-south. Most of the reefs, quartz reefs around here are all running north-south. So I'll, I'll dig into this and I'll dig into that um, north side, north strike over there. I'll take samples. On both sides 
and um, yeah take them home and I'll crush them and see what I get like I said guys this is a new working that I found I've never been here before never found this one and the same with those other those other costines I found um, nah this is all new okay guys I broke some of this this uh, reef out this this um, quartz there's a, a piece there prime example of that glassy quartz um, the vein and there's nothing in it it's clean no signs of of um, mineral pyrite or anything so this here that come out of there in the center now this material on the side on the side of the vein it looks more interesting there's a lot of rust rust in it which is the sulfides that have um, that have leached out so I'm going to take some of this material this material that was alongside alongside the um, quartz there's a vein there that there in the center that's the quartz vein there in the center there and this other material is either side of it so I'm going to hedge a guess and say this rusty material here is the stuff that was holding the gold well if there's any anything in it anyway that's what I'll do guys I'll take some of this I'll take it home crush it up and see how we go because they must have got something here they've done a bit of work okay guys this is the um the stope that I was looking for you can see where where I'm standing now this is where you came come in and the old timers they've dug a a costine straight through the reef straight through the quartz reef and if I come around this side you can see you can see all the all the quartz reef there's granite outcropping on the right and in through the middle there there's a quartz vein runs through there then you've got um, more quartz and granite on the left hand side there yeah so there's the top of the reef the quartz reef it runs straight down sort of it's got a dip of about oh 60 degrees I suppose 60 degree dip and where I'm standing on this side the reef continues through here and up the top here this is your mullet your mullet dump up on here and look what I picked up off the mullet dump guys look at this I hope you can mark, make it out they're all small um, crystals yeah all little crystals all stuck to this rock so I'll keep that yeah but um, anyway I'll jump down in there and I'll start digging away at the bank because when I was here before and I was digging the the bank away I saw these little small crystals like little needles so I'll see if I can find some more just in here there's some little quartz crystals in the in the quartz rock yeah just small little crystals that's all I'm finding just um yeah just those little crystals I did a bit of digging through here I was hoping to find some big ones, but uh, nothing so far. Here's another uh, digging, guys, by the, dug by the old timers. There's a waste pile just there. I was just looking through it to see if I can see any crystals, but no, no good. And um, that other, that um, stope that I was looking at, no, I couldn't see any, any decent crystals. I only did a little bit of digging, but... It's starting to warm up, getting a bit hot. So anyway, I've got that one um, rock with all the crystals on it. So I'll head home and I've got that material I want to pan out, crush down and pan out. So I'll go and do that. Okay, guys, I'm back home. I've got this pan of material that I got out of that, um, the, the old timers workings. So I'm just going to pan it off. I've still got more more material like this to crush but I just thought 
this fine broken down stuff that was in the bucket I just thought I'd pan it out and just see if there is anything in it or not because um, they're new work those workings that I found the first ones they're the uh, uh, I hadn't found them before I hadn't seen them so they're new new to me so I might go back another time and and um, and just have another have a better look around just see if there is anything there anything there that's holding gold I will this this type of rock I will crush down eventually and um, and just see if there's anything in it Rocky Creek. I can put that place to rest anyway. There's there's no gold there. Well, no big gold anyway guys. Not the stuff that I was after. Okay. I'll just pan this back and we'll see how we go. I mean it was good going out there and finding those new workings so it gives me another area now to go and have a look gee no, nothing there nothing big I thought I saw something shine then oh there is there's some real fine specks I'll keep that I'll just have a look under the microscope because even though it's small if, if there is gold in this um, material that I've got here in the pan well that tells me something it tells me there could be some better gold there okay I'll get back to you at the wrap up guys well guys another um another dud video I suppose I mean it was good to get out there and find those those old diggings that I'd never seen before that was good I'll have to get back there and, and take more samples and just have a bit of a dig around in there and um, I think that main digging that I found, the main uh, hole that I walked down into and it had that quartz seam, that vein running through it, I'm pretty sure they've taken that quartz vein out. So that, that quartz vein or what, or the material that was either side of that quartz vein um, held the material for, or the, held the gold I should say that they were interested in. Yeah, so that I've still got those rocks in the shed so I've got to crush them up, I'll put them through the crusher. Oh, in the next few days or so I'll crush them up and pan it and if I get anything out of it I'll let you know on the next video yeah. so um yeah so that's pretty much it uh, Rocky Creek nah and I tried where that boil hole is I tried around there I dug down into some of those little um, catchment air, um, spots in that creek where all the water had run into and any heavies would have been trapped I dug down into a few of those spots Dug, up, dug the um, centre of the creek, dug down in there a couple of spots. Nah, nothing, not even a single speck. Even under the jewellers, the uh, jewellers loop, couldn't see a single speck. Yeah, so that gold that I thought came from Rocky Creek, that must have been in the bucket. Uh, it, the bucket was contaminated. Yeah, so, oh well, you live and learn. Yeah, I've got a couple of rocks here, I just want to show you. So I'll just bring this out here in the light so you can see a bit better. This is that big lump of, um, I don't know what you call it, it's just a big lump of crystals. If you look at it, hopefully the camera's doing it justice, There's, it's just like a big mass of crystals, all like all stuck together. Yeah, it's all, all small crystals. Yeah, I thought that's pretty cool. And I'd at this spot that I found this rock, and um, this these crystals, I'd um I'd found crystals there before, just small ones, small, um, like these, like these little crystals, like little needle, needle um, crystals. I'd found them there before in that spot. So that's what I went back there for, because I'd, I'd already tested it for um gold, and no, nah, I didn't get any gold there. But I knew there was crystals there, yeah, so I was hoping to find a big one. 
I'll go back there another time maybe. Yeah, and, and as well as this rock, I picked up this rock and I, this was at that, um, that new working that I found, that big deep one that I went down into, had the quartz um, vein running through it that they'd been mining. And I found this on the, on the dump, up on the, the dump, uh, waste dump pile. I've got a few pieces, I, I grabbed them and brought them home. Um, because it's, this is the type of stuff that I cut, I cut and polish. So I don't even know what it is. I think it might be um, what they call nice. Because it's got the bands, the bands of the, a sort of a bluey black colour. And it's got these bands, yeah, running through the stone. So, yeah, I thought that was cool, a cool find. I'll end up cutting this on my saw and just see what it looks like. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Cheers. Thank you for watching my video, thank you for subscribing and helping my channel grow, I appreciate you all, thank you very much. And um, on my next video I've received some, I've received some material from Greg and Michelle, they've been out Lee and Oraway gold prospecting and they brought me back some, some um, samples that may have gold in them, so I've got got a few bags there with samples and some rocks that they kindly gave me yeah so maybe I'll, I'll do a video of, of that next okay guys take care out there be good and I'll see you on the next one bye